Today's society faces many complex challenges, such as ageing populations, poverty alleviation, and responding to catastrophic weather events. In meeting these challenges, it's vital that we don't unduly place a burden on either current or future generations, but that instead we take a long-term view to balance our own needs with those of our children and grandchildren. So we've brought together a number of leading experts to tell you why they think governments, regulators and the financial services industry need to act now to better understand climate-related risks and to manage the transition to a low-carbon economy. Increases in greenhouse gases are already having an effect on the planet. We're seeing higher temperatures, higher levels of sea, and greater changes to the natural environment and to human beings than we've seen for thousands of years. The stakes for what we do about climate change in the immediate future are actually very high. The climate scientists are telling us that we're really running out of time. The commercial challenges presented by climate change to the financial services sector, particularly to insurers, are highlighted by two strong recent trends. Weather-related losses have tripled uh, since 1980 um, in terms of their frequency, and the inflation-adjusted cost of those events has risen by more than five-fold to some $50 billion a year. As a defined benefit scheme, the Employment Agency Pension Fund is intrinsically a long-term investor and, and deals with intergenerational issues as part of its day-to-day -day activities. Our um, liabilities run well into the 2100s, so thinking about long-term risks is part of what, what we do. Currently, our, our risk and wealth transfer mechanisms between generations uh, would assume that the assets our parents pass on to us are, are going to be valuable, but really we need to reform our wealth and risk transfer mechanisms between generations to ensure that there is financial stability and to ensure that we're dealing with climate change uh, both in terms of uh, mitigating its worst possible effects and, and adapting to the future world. The action that we take now will also help to ensure that we don't hand a toxic legacy to future generations. Our generation has a historic opportunity to deal with an extremely important problem and leave human history in far better shape than we found it and no other generation can do this. As a Royal Chartered Professional Body, the public interest is at the heart of everything we do. Hearing from our experts, it's evident that we've reached a tipping point. This means that how we choose to act in the near future could mean that climate risk can be managed for centuries or that we risk leaving the world a considerably worse place for future generations.